Thank you for joining us for this training video. The purpose of this two-part video is to add cameras to an existing installation of VAST VMS and CMS software. If you have not installed VAST and logged into Live Client, please check out our VAST installation video. Before we begin in VAST, let's take a look at the camera IP settings on the camera's web server from Internet Explorer. We can use the IW2 utility to find cameras on the network, and then connect to their web interfaces by double-clicking the IP address. The Installation Wizard 2 utility is available from the CD that came with the camera or the VivoTech website. Click Configuration, Network, General Settings. We can see if the IP is set to automatic DHCP, or if it's set to a static or fixed IP. Out of the box, the camera's IP will be set to automatic so that the site's router will set an IP to the camera. But we can see here that our camera's IP address is set statically. Either way, camera finders in VAST can discover the camera on the network, but we could also note the IP address down now, then enter it into VAST later. We can also select Security User Accounts. This will allow us to add or remove a password to the camera. If we do add a password, remember to note it down because you will need it when adding the camera to VAST. The default administrator name is root. We will now log into VAST with the username and password we chose during the installation. This is different from the password on the camera we just mentioned. From the Live Client screen, click Configuration, Camera Management, Insert Camera. This will allow us to add a single camera. Click the magnifying glass to bring up a search window. We should move the camera list window into a better viewing position or move the search window entirely. Select the camera you would like to add to the Live Client. Notice the address field will populate with the camera's IP address. There is no default password for a VivoTech camera, so unless you have set one, you can keep it blank. Otherwise, fill in those fields now. From here, we can detect the model, a useful feature if we manually type in the IP address in the nearby address field. And we can do a connection test. This is a useful feature for testing the camera connection before we add it to the VAST system. This feature will fail if our camera requires a password and we have not entered it below. Once again, the default username for the password is root. The configuration protocol is set to HTTP. This will be good in most cases, along with port 80. These settings are for specific situations that call for them. An example you could use them in is if you pre-configured your cameras to use HTTPS over port 443 to protect prying eyes from intercepting network camera packets. Let's keep it on HTTP. Channel is for adding different channels for VivoTech devices that have them, such as the VS8801 video server, which supports conversion of up to eight analog cameras to IP cameras. Each channel corresponds with an analog camera. Initial viewing stream is the stream shown for live viewing. Generally, there are two to four streams per camera, and they are set to lower resolutions for higher numbered streams. This can reduce network bandwidth for live viewing, but will not affect storage retention. Look for the video settings topic later in this video for more information on streams. On the Recording Settings tab, we can configure the recording stream along with the pre- and post-event recording times. Unlike initial viewing stream, the recording stream will not affect live view, but will affect storage retention and playback quality. Pre-event and post-event settings affect the length of videos when VAST is configured for event recordings, such as motion detec detection or digital input. Activity adaptive streaming is another advanced feature to save bandwidth and storage, which also requires event recording deconfigured in VAST. This feature is often used in conjunction with motion detection to increase frame rates when triggered. Please click the link below or search the VivoTech website for AAS to learn more about this useful technology. 
Synchronized camera time is an easy way of synchronizing the camera's time settings to the VAST server settings so that they are updated regularly. Unless you prefer to use a separate time server, keep it checked. Automatically add cameras into recording storage should be checked with the default group selected. Unless you have pre-configured a different recording group or prefer to limit the camera for viewing only. Insert the camera now. Repeat these steps again to add additional cameras. When finished, click Close. This concludes the first part of the two-part video. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.